All right, welcome back to another episode here on Navigation Aware. Last time we got all the upper cabinets, lower cabinets, and office cabinets installed into the school bus. And today we're gonna to be doing a lot of odds and ends so we can get things finalized and be able to move forward with the build. Like I said, welcome back to another episode on the build. Welcome back to Ivan. It is very cold outside. Um, I just turned the heater on here to get the day started. But today we're gonna be doing a lot of odds and ends, getting things kind of put away. Uh, so you get to watch two things today. One, a bus build, but two, it's actually gonna snow like a foot of snow before sundown, we think. Um, there's a big storm coming in. So right now it is a beautiful, sunny, blue sky day starting off. Very cold when it's blue skies up here. So uh, Rachel's here, she just showed up and uh, that means it's time to get to work. I'm gonna make some breakfast real quick for you. Yeah. Yeah. I got coffee. And a bus. And a bus. <laughs> well, we technically have two buses. All right, breakfast is done. Everyone has their coffee and we just talked about kind of the jobs and the goals of the day. Uh, goal number one is everyone's gonna pretty much watch the snow once it starts falling. And then secondly, uh, puck lights is what Dalton's gonna head on to and Rachel's gonna start helping me set all of the cabinets. And uh, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. All right, me and Rachel, we're gonna get all these cabinets set. And uh, the thing that we have to do first is this cabinet that I built, the fireplace one. Um, the back wall is not exactly perfectly square um, because the actual bus wall, the exterior bus wall right there behind the driver's seat isn't square. Um, so I gotta take this cabinet out actually, pull off the side piece, and then take like a blade out of the back so that it will actually slide in perfectly because it's just a little too tight. Um, and I don't want it to be, you know, that, that tight. So we're gonna be adjusting some of these cabinets, getting them set in. And that's the first thing on our list for the day. Dalton actually just ran out of batteries on his Milwaukee, so uh, he can't keep going to the puck lights. But what I was just doing while I was kind of helping Rachel move forward on the cabinet is measuring out actually the window casings. Uh, Dalton and I, a long time ago, we actually uh, cut out these pieces for our window casings that are gonna go right in here. So what we wanna do, since we have to get the cabinets installed, is uh, get these all measured up and finished so that we can put them in and then the cabinets can go in up against them and that'll be completely done. We need one here, one here, and then the cabinets can go in. So while we're waiting for that battery to charge, uh, Dalton's gonna give me a hand on these guys. Okay, so while Donald and I are actually working on these casings, um, Rachel just finished up the cabinet and she's gonna have to actually wait for a little bit because I'm gonna have to help her do some things on here and I'm helping Dalton right now. So Rachel, I'm actually going to give the camera um, and I'm gonna actually ask her to go get some gas for the snowblower because it's gonna be a snowstorm. And also if you could grab some food for lunch because uh, we're actually gonna stop and have some lunch and I'd like to, you know, obviously feed you guys. So thank you. I like to. Um, <laughs> but since we're just gonna be cutting wood, I'm gonna give Rachel the camera and let her have some fun because uh, we're just gonna be cutting. Adventure time! Let's go. We are heading to the store. It is snowing out. We were talking about that snowstorm that was coming and it is upon us. Oh, this is so exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get some lunch meats, some snacks, some fruits, you know, nice well-rounded meal. Ah, oh, look at this, look at this beauty here. The one thing I've been struggling with this car Love this car, um, and if anyone is a long-term subscriber, you know that I love my cars to bits and pieces. I think they're the greatest things ever. 
Cars are the best inventions ever made. And I like to name my cars. My first Beetle I ever had was named Charlotte. My second Beetle, Darla. Now, I have this beautiful Jeep, and I don't have a name. I've been kind of toying around with the name Mitch, mm, but I'm not really, uh, I don't really know. I've had it for a couple weeks, and I feel like it should have come by now, but it hasn't. Yeah, so let's hop in my car, and let's go to the store before the snow gets any worse. Okay, so we got our back casings in. Um, we didn't screw them in just yet, but we got these placed in so we can see them. And what we can do now is get Rachel's cabinet that she's been working on this morning, um, and we'll set it in here to make sure everything fits correctly. And then once we know that all of our cabinets, our casings are all working, um, then we can actually start putting the screws in, final installing it, getting it completely set and locked into place. Um, which gives us our measurements for our cabinet doors in the next episode. And uh, for this one, we can move on to another task. It's so much snow. <laughs> also, if anyone noticed in the last video, uh, right up here, we have a new sign. Um, I made this sign with Rachel a few weeks ago as like a joke because we just had some extra paint and we just wanted to do it. Uh, but my mom saw it and she made me that for Christmas. Um, so now it's the navigation to our shop in the garage. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks mom for making us the sign and uh, it looks great. <laughs> It'll go. It kind of just all has to get shoved in. But first look on the entire kitchen. I mean, really, at this point, we got our casings in, got all of our cabinets in. So now it's just a matter of getting them all screwed together so they're all level, getting them installed. Good job, Dalton. Good job, Rachel, who's inside and you can't hear me saying good job, but she did a great job. I'll tell her when we get inside. All right, so I know I just literally just said on camera that we're gonna start putting these cabinets in. I realize we actually can't. Uh, we will in this video, but just not like this very next scene because I have to put the drawer hinges on. Uh, we have kick plate drawers in here, which essentially means um, the bottom of our drawers, whoa, the bottom of our uh, kick plates, if you didn't see one of our previous videos, um, we actually built them out, so we're gonna put drawers in the kick plates, which means before we install the cabinets, I gotta put the hinges on. Otherwise, we'll never be able to. Or at least it'll be really hard to reach in there and do it. Um, so me and Rachel, whoop, Rachel's back uh, from lunch and uh, we're gonna, she's gonna help me do this. All right, guys, ready? Oh, wait. Well, we didn't put a hand, there's no handle there's no on handle. it. There's no handle, I thought I'd open it. Okay, here we go. Boom. Look at that. I like that. In, out, out, in. And it's just a little bit of secret storage, you know? Yeah. So this one is only, I mean, it's not really that deep because it only goes back to that bump right there. Uh, this cabinet's actually gonna have a full underside, so it's gonna be actually be like 24 by 24 inch, um, four inches deep type thing. Uh, this one's a bit more of what we're gonna call secret storage, but since this is on YouTube, it's not really secret, and uh, yeah, whatever. But it's totally worth it, because we can totally hide some things down there that are just small and inconvenient that we just don't want, tuck it underneath, and it's out of the way and gone. All right, Rach, uh, I did that one, and I showed you how to do it, which means your job is gonna be to do this one. I'm excited, All I'm right. ready. Well, um, I want to make sure everyone knows I did not set Rachel up for failure. <laughs> this was totally my fault. I didn't realize it. Um, but these drawer slides are 22 inches, um, which are made for the inside of the drawer here. But I gave them to Rachel thinking, without thinking actually, uh, they're going to fit here. But since it's a kick plate, 
it's actually shorter. Whew, we'll look at it that way. So it's actually shorter right here, which essentially means that uh, they won't work. So it doesn't mean that we're stalled because we can still get the rest of them set. Uh, this one just won't be able to get set, but that's okay because that still gets us. Way and now I know forward. how to do this, so it will take me about 10 minutes yeah, to do time. it next time. Name yeah. of the game in every bus build. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. <laughs> All right, so Rachel and I just got all of these pieces in here. Uh, so they're finalized, but while we're putting them in, we were just looking out the window and uh, we want to do a little bit of a snow update and I want to show you some of the ice on the back of the house because it's just, cr I've never seen so much ice hanging off of a house in my life and we need to break it off. So I figured like we should just break it on camera so everyone can be a part of it. Adventures! <sighs> all right, in terms of snowfall, uh, since the snowstorm started, it's been probably about maybe two hours. And we got, what do you think, Rach? Two to four. But this is the problem right here. That like, we've got all these ice poles and we gotta break these off because the weight is actually dripping inside of the house. <laughs> this is too fun. Ugh. Okay, hey Rach, you wanna do one? I do wanna do one. There's some on the other side you gotta do. Go. Oh my goodness, this is I know, it's really heavy. Holy Toledo! I mean, it's significant snow. That's such a fun sound. Uh, it's so heavy. Whoa, that was a big one! <laughs> yeah, do it, get it! Yeah, Rach! Got him! <laughs> Just if, uh, if anyone doesn't live up in the snow, uh, you got to keep those off because the water will actually go into the fascia of the house and then start rotting out your sidewalls. Um, I also have to get my snow rake, which is literally a rake meant to uh, pretty much just pull off the snow load on the roof so it doesn't fall. Because what happens is, is we get so much snow on the roof that then when it gets really heavy, it will all just slide at once and you'll get this like huge like noise just coming like right off the roof. You're sitting inside and it sounds like an earthquake just happened, but it was all the snow falling and it can be really dangerous. Um, so I gotta get the snow rake, go around the whole house after this storm, pull all the snow off. So you know, we do build buses and we do have a heck of a lot of fun, but winter's something. Winter? Winter's something else. Yeah, winter's always trying to keep up with you. Or you're trying to keep up with winter. Oh, get that one right there. All right, we're gonna brush the snow off and then uh, actually head back into the bus to start setting those cabinets while Dalton, who is still right here, doing awesome building out that bottom cabinet for the other um, drawer. And we're all just keep moving. All right, we got all of our cabinets kind of all, you know, clamped together. We didn't actually need shims um, because we actually pre-measured all of our walls to be square. So these cabinets are actually fitting perfectly in um, on the faces. And we've got the one over here that Rachel rebuilt this morning and got it all cut. Uh, but Dalton actually just finished the drawer. So do you want to put it in and uh, test it out? Here you go. Oh, oh yeah. Did it! All right, awesome guys. We got all the lower cabinets officially squared, screwed in, set in place. 
which means uh, they're all pretty much ready in the future to at this point get measurements for cabinet doors. And then we can start measuring, banding, and cutting the cabinet doors and making them in the garage, which is exactly what we're actually gonna be doing in the next episode because uh, it's getting really late and I actually have to get on the live stream for Patreon. Um, so if anyone out there actually is interested and wants to join in with our live streams we have once a month, um, you can go check out our Patreon account and join the community down over there. Um, but I gotta go get that started. So we're gonna have to get the cabinet doors and puck lights started up in the next episode. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.